All right, let's get into it. The first 20 things that you should do with your Samsung Galaxy XR. The first thing you should absolutely do is go into the Google Play Store and look in their new starter guide right here where they have basically immersive apps to, to go and download. There's a, a handful in here at the time of making this video, but come in here, see if there's anything you want. Some of this stuff is free. Some of it's kind of expensive, as you can see, like 40 bucks. Um, check it out. There's videos that you can watch on it like right in here to see if you want any part of this or not. And again, this is definitely, you definitely want to come in here and uh, see if there's anything you want, but yeah, definitely come in here, download some apps, see if there's anything that strikes your fancy or not. And uh, go crazy in here. You can see some of these, these apps say XR ready. Uh, it doesn't mean they're going to be immersive, but some of them will have like extra features and stuff. There's some cool games that you can get like vacation simulator or job simulator. Uh, this one I'm deb debating on getting 25 bucks, but it's like mini golf. I've, I have it on the meta, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, come in here, check out, download any apps that you want. Let's close this app out. The second thing to do would be to come in here and look through your quick toggle. So on your home screen, come into quick settings and you can rearrange these as you see fit. Now you might be like, well, how do I do that? What you wanna do is just go to the very last page, hit the plus sign, and this is where you can remove things or add things. And you have two pages or you might have, I have two pages, I should say. You might have three, you might have two, you might even have more than that, but come in here and you can come and rearrange these as you want. Uh, if you wanna remove one, just you'll hit this little minus sign. If you wanna add one, all you do is just click it. Like just to see if there's any, I guess for this one, I will do, I'll do song search. So song search ended up going on my third page, but I can click and drag it. As you can see, maybe I want it to be like, uh, like right here. I can come in here and do that and I can rearrange these any way I want. It's really cool. I, okay, I actually like the way I have it set up. Once you're done, you just hit done at the bottom. And that is how you have your quick toggles now set on your Galaxy XR. Next, while you're here, Click on this gear, you go to settings. You can also go to settings just by your main page. You'll see settings. Just click on settings and go into home environment. Go to settings on the bottom right here. And you're going to end up being able to choose a background that you like. There's at the time of making this video is about 10 here. It's not that many, but find one that you like. Maybe you like this one, for instance. Um, you can set it to auto, which means it'll be, it'll change from night mode to day, to, day mode based off whatever time it is where you are. Uh, I'll just set it to day first and we'll check out what that looks. So this is what it looks like during the day. Maybe I'm like, you know what? I want to set this to auto. So it automatically changes with me. It's an evening right now in San Diego. And I'm like, yeah, this is chill. I like this. And now I have my home set up. So Really, really nice stuff. Next, go into input. And you have some things in here that you can mess around with. Like for instance, aiming method. By default, it's set to, I believe, home, head, hand and aiming uh, only. So if you click on that, you can change it or you can put it like this, which is hand and eye aiming. You can see like, so basically you would look with your eyes where you wanna click. And I'll, I'll just do it real quick to give you an idea what that looks like. So I can look up. At, I'm, I'll put my hand down. So if I put my hand down, I can look up. You can see at the very top, I'm looking at the X or the minimize button. I'm looking at the, you can exactly see where I'm looking. And then all I would do is just use my gesture to select what I want. I don't have to hold my hand up like you would with hand and aiming, hand aiming only. Uh, so I actually, I'll be honest with you. I, at first I liked hand and eye aiming, um, but I'm just going to use hand aiming only. Um, but if you do hand and eye aiming, you have some extra settings you can come in here and mess with, such as high gesture sensitivity and uh, show briefly when switching to eye tracking. So you have some extra options on there that you can choose from, though. Then you want to go to, we did, uh, I'll go back to input real quick. So we got hand, oh, oh, this is important, eye calibration. So this is important. So use this if you're seeing double or things blurry. All you do is just come in here and you'll hit align. Let me click on it. Align displays. And basically it looks at your eyes. It's gonna look at them real quick. And you're gonna press that button. 
and it's going to fix the glasses so they are going to look their absolute best. Like it'll just align with your eyes. It's actually pretty cool. You can also do it with the Calibrate eye tracking. Use this if you're having trouble selecting things. You can come in here uh, and go through that. I'm not going to go through it because mine's fine, but you can come in here and do that. Also, if you have the optical inserts um, to buy glasses, this is where you would pair them. <clears throat> just put them in there and then you can pair them up. Very easy to do and to get situated on here. And then you also have uh, fit tips. So show tips to help you fix headset misalignments that affect your field of view. I turned it off because it started showing up all the time, even though everything looked fine and was working fine. So I turned off fit tips, but this is where you can turn it on and off. Also below here, input tools. This is where you can um, select any of your, if you're going to add an extra controller or a keyboard or anything like that, this is where you can add it. I actually didn't go through. Let me see. Can I go? Okay. Oh, here we go. I wanted to add Gboard actually. So I'm going to, this is where you can change your keyboard. So now I have Gboard selected as my keyboard, which is very cool. And that's where you can do, again, add any of that stuff. Next would be to go into your avatar. Now I already set myself an avatar. I can clear it. Um, you can do face calibration. We need to scan your face so your avatars can match your facial expressions. Come in here and do that. Uh, use avatar in your video calls. You can turn that on and off. You can also click here and create your avatar. This is mine. Looks really nothing like me, but I, I always have a tough time. <laughs> Most looks like a female, huh? With a bald head. <laughs> I, uh, I always have trouble with these things. Sometimes I feel like they just, uh, they don't like me, but you can mess with it. You can, uh, Duplicate it, trash it. What does this do? Settings. Oh, you can sync it with your your Samsung Cloud. I guess I should probably do that. And yeah, that's pretty much good with that. And then I'm just going to close this. But that's where you can create your avatar if you want to do that. And also, again, do the face calibration, <clears throat> which I haven't done. I have to do that. I will do that after this video. Next, click on connected displays. Uh, set up your quick share if you haven't already. It's a great way to send files to yourself uh any and all i have it who i can share with i have everyone or who could share with me i should say i have it set to everyone because sometimes it's a pain in the butt it won't work uh but this is a great little place to set all of this up come in here and you can do that going back if you want to take phone calls on your galaxy xr you see call on other devices tap on that and you should be able to select your phone in here and if you haven't set this up already uh if you haven't go onto your phone on the same place, connect the devices and turn it on, on your phone. And then you'll be able to add it on here. It has to be, I believe it has to be a Samsung, it has to be a Galaxy phone. So you have to have a Galaxy phone in order to do this. Just be mindful of that. Uh, and then also allow calling on this handset, headset, turn that on as well. Uh, and that's it. And then you're ready to take phone calls. These other things are, if you want to set them up, they got like PC link, uh, which allows you to connect your galaxy book to seamlessly view and control it by a virtual environment. So if you have a galaxy book, you can come in here and do that if you want or not. Next, go to display. This is where you can set your light mode and dark mode. So if you want this to be light, I don't like that, but if you want it, I like it dark. So it's easier. And I also turn my brightness up to about the third highest and you can also change your font and size style so if you want a font to be bigger you can drag this to the right or smaller to the left you can also change your font if you want it to be something else you can change the font you can download additional fonts as well all of that's right there you got your sounds sounds is uh, if you want to change your ringtones come in here and choose what you want you can hear what it sounds like you also have your notification sounds right now i have it as bright line I'll do my old school Voyager. I use that um, system sounds. So you can turn off just like on your phone. You can turn your system volume up to the right or left right here. You can also turn off certain like clicking noises. If you don't want to hear when it's charging or Samsung keyboard or dialing keypad or touch interactions, you can turn all those sounds off. Uh, so spatial audio is on by default. It should be. I would keep it on. It gives you a more immersive sound. And then dynamic adjust. I turn this off. I don't want it to adjust to the room I'm in, but you can mess with that if you'd like. You have battery. Battery, uh, auto 
power off to save battery automatically turn off your headset if inactive and not charging for 24 hours i have that on so it automatically turns my device on it turns on fast enough that you'll be able to turn it on don't worry about that uh power saving you can turn this on a dark theme will be applied and background activity visual effects and certain features will be limited some network connections will be turned off i don't use that but if you want to it's right there now we're going to get into some cool stuff advanced features galaxy ai um so I think this is just on, oh no, it's not on. I haven't even used any of the notes, but I'll turn it on right here. You can turn it on. Oh, let's hit, oh, let's go down, let's hit more and we'll hit okay. I want all that stuff on. I want it all on for my note assist and browsing assist. I don't really use their browser, but you have it right there. And then I wouldn't care about that. That's probably good with Galaxy AI. Uh, Bixby, I don't use, and I'm not going to worry about it, but it's right there. Top button, you can change what long pressing does. I like it as the digital assistant for um, Google, but I can come in here and choose one of these other ones if I want it to do it. But uh, Google Gemini is so integrated into this. It's like you'd be not smart to change it. Just keep it at that. Um, labs. So... There's some cool stuff in here. So input. Now remember, so you have show real hands on, uh, so your real hands will appear in pass through instead of virtual hands. So if I go into pass through, which I just tap on the side there, it's going to show my real hands instead of uh, robot hands. See, it shows my robot hands. Um, and then direct touch anywhere. So if you click on this, this says allow all interactive elements to be touched and controlled by pointing your index finger, just like the virtual keyboard. Direct touch may not work in some apps. So if I turn this on, I haven't even messed with this, but let's just go right here. I don't know, it's not working. What do I have to do? Oh, I have to like tap it. <laughs> I don't know, seems too difficult. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> but you can do direct touch. Uh, you. This is what I was looking for and I found it today. Uh, basically, so we talked about in the beginning, you, you can do uh, using your eyes and resting your hands to select, or you can just like do what I'm doing now and select like this. Um, this actually turns off the select and has it so that when I'm looking at something, uh, like I can't just, I can't just, if I'm just, I'm gonna look to the left. It's, it's gonna be only selecting what I select. Does that make sense? So um, I'm not going to have a floating cursor basically with this. And this is the, one of the settings I was looking like. This makes it exactly like an Apple Vision Pro. So I'm going to try it out like this. And I'm glad they have this because um, it makes using it a lot more comfortable. But you do have to look at what you're doing. That's uh, one thing you have to know. So you can create a new pass-through window or adjust your current one. I haven't really messed with this. Make your head... To position a pass through window, then select the confirmed. Okay, so you can lock here. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, show a window into the real world, real world when using VR, useful for seeing your desk. So if you're using VR, you can have a pass through window um, on your on your being, which is great because um, if you're used playing a VR game, you're locked into that world. This bypasses that, so it's a, actually a really cool uh, feature to have. Um, we'll go down. We, I think we did all the advanced feature stuff. Let me go back one more time. Uh, yep, we did. So we'll go into general management is good to look at. If you're actually, I'm not used to this. I got to switch this off. <laughs> Let me go back to labs input. It's not bad. I guess I'm not used to it. Um, Oh, general management is good if you need to download more language packs or reset the device. Uh, you probably shouldn't re need to reset it this early, but just in case. Notifications. <clears throat> if you're sick of getting notifications from certain apps, come in here and you can turn them on or off. Like, I don't need Bixby apps. Uh, notifications, I should say. Clock apps is cool. Yeah, just come in here and choose what notifications you want on or off. And you should be good at that point and you know what you have. Uh, just turn them on and off. And yeah, there you go. Locking, if you want. I have it set to pin and iris, but you can click in this and change your lock type for when you lock your device. Iris is great because it just reads your eye basically. So that's really, really nice to have. Um, 
none of that accounts nah google no security and privacy we've got your device device lock which we already did all of that is fine oh apps yep if you want to change your def any of your default apps like your default search engine come in here choose the one that you want same thing with your digital assistant um, i've tried changing my launcher does not work so you don't even need to try it uh it doesn't work <clears throat> i tried it earlier and uh i don't even know why it's there because it doesn't work <laughs> Let's go down here. Uh, so we got apps. We got software update coming here. Just in case, depends when you get it. See if you have any software updates. I've been checking since I've got it. I, I don't think I've gotten one single update for it yet. Uh, user guide is a really important one. This is going to uh, come in here. Uh, not this one, actually. Let's go back. This is not what I wanted to show you. This is good on uh, at this at this point with uh, the settings, but there's more stuff I want to show you. So if you don't know how to, or you don't remember how to use this device, they have a tips right here. Tips, come into tips, <clears throat> and you can remember how to do something. It walks you through it. It is great. I love that they have this. It makes remembering how to use the device that much easier and you'll appreciate it that much more. So come in here um, and learn how to use your device. Also a couple of things, if you're looking at your quick toggles, uh, you can come in here and do certain things. What I mean by that is I can just click this and it will take a screenshot of whatever I'm looking at. So it took a screenshot, I can see it up the top there and you can do that on any page. I could do it with, you know, if I have this open or a screenshot or anything like that, I'll take a screenshot. Uh, also, let me go in there. There is other things you might want to do, such as recentering your view. If you don't remember how to like just, you basically hold the side of your headset to recenter it. But if you don't want to do that, you can do it right here. You can mess with your boundary, your virtual environment, turn off your microphone access if you want, uh, send feedback. All this stuff is at a finger's tip right there uh, and that's the first things i think you should go and do uh, obviously so log into your apps as well but that's like a, a given at that point so thanks for watching if you want to pick this headset up it's really cool i think you'll really really like it i'm enjoying it a lot it's linked down below have a great day we'll see you down the road peace